How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. Welcome back to box number 2 out of 20 of the Japanese Sun and Moon 1 Plus Strengthening Expansion Pack. Box 1 was... Box 1 was a nice introduction to the set. What it's about, the kind of stuff you're going to see. Tons of mirror foils, some new cards, some old cards, some new GXs. So make sure you go back and check that out if you don't want to be spoiled on what cards I have or haven't already pulled. There's definitely some good stuff to be enjoyed there. So, given that I said that we're going to do some games here, let's start it off nice and easy. We're going to do a little thing I like to call odds and evens. So we're actually going to flip this upside down. How are we going to do this? How do we usually do that? Yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to sort them after this. The odds and the evens. So the odd packs are going to be opened first. That's going to be a pile on the left-hand side. And the even packs will be opened on the right. They will be a like the second half of the opening. So what I want you to do is check out the video, enjoy the polls, and let me know in the comments section below which side you think had the better polls. The left side, which we're opening first, or the right side, which we're opening second. Let's set that to the back, and we're going to open our 10 packs here. The odd numbered packs. Not that the packs are actually officially numbered, but still. So, we've got ourselves a Fire Energy, Pukamuku, Alolan Radita, Ultra Ball, and Oracorio. Like a five syllable Pokemon name and give it four cards in the set. Anyways, Fairy Energy, Poplio, Mudbray, another Oracorio, and an Enhanced Hammer. And the beauty of this is that there's no right or wrong answer to which one had the better cards. Because maybe you're like an avid Hammer fan. Maybe you've got a Hammer fetish. Maybe you got some sort of crazy thing like your middle name is Enhanced Hammer or something like that. You can still vote for whatever side you think is the best. So, we got a Metal Energy, Grubbin, Charger Bug, and a Energy Retrieval, and a Vicavolt GX. Pretty awesome stuff. I do already have this card, and it's a great time to let you know that none of these cards are going to be made available for sale until an official sale video is posted sometime early next week. I'm thinking maybe Monday or Tuesday of next week, something along those lines, as long as I have my openings in order. We'll see how that goes. Uh, as per the usual, openings leading to sale videos of sale videos are PayPal only for the first two weeks. So if you do not have a PayPal account set up and you want to be first in line to be able to pick up some of these brand new GXs, or if you just didn't want to order a box in general and would like to buy a complete common and uncommon set, make sure you got a PayPal account sorted and in order. I don't want you to miss out on any, any of these cards. Of course, if you want to stick around with cash by mail, you can still make that purchase. You just have to wait a couple of weeks. It's the safest way for me to get these cards out to you quickly. Got a Grass Energy, Poplio, Charger Bug, Cosmoem, and an Altar of the Sun. And here we have a Psychic Energy, Pass Simeon, a Marini Enhanced Hammer. Ooh, and a new GX in Sylveon GX. Very nice. The Super Rare and Hyper Rare versions, very expensive. <laughs> Just figured I'd mention that. Uh, attacks are Magical Ribbon, Fairy Wind, and Pre-Air GX. Uh, Magical Ribbon, uh, you get to search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand. Uh, I think there was a Milotic that had something like that, like Clear something or other. Uh, Fairy Wind right there does 110, and the Pre-Air GX, that GX attack, your your side can only use a GX attack once a game in the TCG. You can pick two of your opponent's benched Pokemon and return them to their hand. So that's pretty cool if you want to clear them out, thin out the bench. Like, you could do something like return them to their hand and, I don't know, whatever it is that you do for strategy in the TCG. You guys who play it know what's going on. So we've got a Grass Energy, Sandy Gast, Poliwag, Ultra the Moon, and a Flappy Bird. Yeah, it's not going to stick. I'm going to call them something else. 
In the last pack of the left side, we've got a Metal Energy, Grubbin, Poplio, Energy Retrieval. Ooh, and our first Soul Galeo. Excellent. Those cards are going to be priced like hollows, just to let you know. So the main poles from the left side, the Vicavolt GX and the Sylveon GX. Pretty nice showing. We'll see if the right side can do better. So we got a Psychic Energy, Marini, Sandy Gast, Altar of the Sun, and a Lorantis. Here's another little piece of advice for you guys. In the event that you're looking to pick up a set like this, the mirror foil cards in Premium Champion and in this set, I'm sure it's going to be the same way, they tend to warp a little bit, and the warping does get worse over time. So the best way to do it is to safely pressurize cards to prevent that from happening. Uh, something that I usually do, as we get a uh, Toro Cat in the last, last card of that pack, uh, something I usually do, is I'll store them stacked together in the booster boxes. It tends to keep them from getting too crazy curly. You can actually see there's a little bit of curl to them already, just sitting in the box. That will get worse. Uh, the card doesn't necessarily get damaged. I'm sure it could be flattened out safely. You just you have to give it time and you have to storm properly. So I would definitely recommend not just keeping them loose. Like if you've got them in a binder, maybe make that set not at the front of the binder so the cards in front of it can kind of add a little passive pressure to them. There's a suit of wood right there. Add a little passive pressure to them and keep them keep them flatter. I know my premium champion sale binder is in the back of the binder covered by other stuff. It tends to keep that from happening. Anyways, we are opening cards here. We've got a Fairy Energy, Poliwag, Cosmog, Rare Candy, and an Araquanid. Nothing too special out of the right side yet, but if we happen to pop a Super Rare or a Hyper Rare, or the Ultra Rare Double Colorless Energy, of course all bets will be off. We've got a Fire Energy, Grubbin, Lit Litten, I almost said Litleo, you can see why, Litten, Dartrix, and a Politoed. Uh, the expected ratio of super rare or better pulls is three out of every four boxes. So it'll be pretty disappointing if we don't get one here. A fairy energy, a Fomantis, a uh, Araquanid, not a Araquanid, Dupider. Come on, self. Uh, Oracorio, and a Lunala. Two packs to go in this box. Starting to get a little nervous. Let's get ourselves a fire energy, Eevee. Poliwhirl, a multi-switch, and a Cat, and this has got to be last pack magic. To get completely shut out on the right side, ooh, that'd be devastating. And it'll also be super boring when picking uh, which side was the best side. Let's see what we can get in the last pack. We've got a Fairy Energy, Radita, Alolan Radita, Mudbray, Brion, and a Decidueye GX. So that is a new GX from the set, but it's not a new GX for me, as I already possess this card, because this is a reprint. And many of you are probably watching openings right now of uh, Sun and Moon Base in English, in which this card is presumably available. Yeah, it's got to be, right? Yeah, it's got to be available. I think. Actually, I haven't watched many Sun and Moon openings, now I can't remember. But I would presume that it is. Uh, it's got the same attacks as per the usual, and it is reprinted, but with the super rare and hyper rare versions lurking in a set like this, it's always a possibility. So, if you think the side with the Decidueye GX was the better polls and the better cards, I want you to go into the comments section and vote for the right side. If you think seeing the Vicavolt GX, despite it being a duplicate, and the Sylveon GX was the better side, I want you to vote for the left side in the comment section below. Regardless of what side you vote for, if you vote at all, make sure you hit the like button to show your support for this ongoing series, and of course make sure you subscribe to see future openings as they happen. Thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you back here later tonight for box number three.